you know, this has become kind of interesting because now you've got short versus short. You've got spy versus spy. It reminds me a tremendous amount about herbal life because, hmm. you know, I was on one side of that with the reporting we were doing when I was at CNBC. And it was just interesting watching different people just get different opinions. In the end, what I looked at was this. Look, he disclosed the short seller position. The report was certainly well over the line on what a lot of people want to see and what people will say. His reputation is tremendously on the line with this. Yeah. Um, but in the end, the real question is, is he right or is he wrong? Mm -hmm. And we won't know. He says we'll know in three to six months. Tom, we'll know at some point. What, what is your point of view on this? Okay, so look, um, the counting of General Electric, which Mr. Markopoulos is questioning, okay, and he's attacking the accounting, this is nothing new. This has been going on for years now. People have been attacking the accounting. And I think, in my opinion, justifiably so. KPMG has been the accountant forever. There's been a lot of calls to replace KPMG and get someone in new, get a new accounting firm in to look at their work. Right. Um, there's shareholder lawsuits already on file. The Southern District of New York is already hearing a bunch of cases where the shareholders are suing, saying that the accounting is faulty and phony and, 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 and being manipulated by the accounting firm and by General Electric. So oh, Mr. Markopoulos is just another another hammer at uh, General Electric on their accounting problems. Right, but, but we've known this for a while. It's one thing to say there have historically been accounting problems, and it's another thing to, to say, as he is claiming today, that General Electric is bankrupt. Yeah. Well, I mean, golly, it, it, it depends how you depend, de de defend bankruptcy. I mean, look, uh, um, they're over $100 billion in debt, and their market cap is a lot less than that, okay? So on, on some definitions, they might be bankrupt. Um, and he's also saying, he's also added, you're right, that there are some additional accounting maneuvers and tricks that haven't been exposed yet, and so he's bringing up some new ones too. And I, Herb, I wonder, you know, when we talk about Marco Polis is very straightforward. He said, "Look, I have mouths to feed. Yes, I'm working with this hedge fund. Of course, the hedge fund has not been disclosed. Uh, does, do we need more transparency about the profit structure of this? For example, you know, is he?" required to be, in other words, was there the difference between insider trading where their hedge fund could have already made a position before this was made public to everybody versus what happens now in further share declines and whether he participates in those declines? What, what questions do you think regulators, if any, need to be asking? Well, I think when they get to the issue of manipulation, I think manipulation would be determined uh, if he intentionally put out this information and he and his, and the short and the short or the fund that he was involved with intentionally put out misleading and wrong information i would find that hard to believe uh, but again i i just you know know what i what i'm looking at here but i think that's the line remember the bloggers the activist short sellers they've been out there for for years and the difference in this one is that it's GE. It's not some little podunk company over here a lot of people never heard of or a, a company that I would call a not TV name right. because you, this is going on all the time. It, this is just different because I think of the size and the claims uh, that he has, he has put forth. And, and again, Tom, we've seen people come out from many corners to say, you know, while they're flagging accounting issues, that's not the same. Uh, the, the severity of what he's claiming goes beyond what he's been able to demonstrate. Um, if you are somebody who's worried about the GE shares you own going to zero, about the pension you have, which, again, has, at least has a backstop, yeah. what questions uh, should those people be asking? Well, those, those people might want to look at the lawsuits that are already on file. I mean, there, there's so many claims of accounting gimmicks and, and maneuvers. You can put GE and KPMG into Google right now, and you can read about various unions and other groups have come in and, and been saying, look, there's a lot of accounting fraud. And so this is coming from all directions. Mr. Markopoulos is like the 125th person to raise accounting issues with General Electric. It, it's a serious problem. If I had money in General Electric personally, I, I would probably be out of it. I think you ought to be very cautious. It's dangerous. All Kelly, that I said, her, one yeah, thing. final word. Well, I just want to say, say one thing. We've done a lot of work on a company called Wabtec. They acquired General Electric Transportation. That's a tiny, that was a tiny part of General Electric Transportation. And what we were intrigued with when we did the work and trying to untangle it, and my partner, who's one of the great forensic accountants out there, and our analysts, they're pulling their hair out because when they were looking at GET, General Electric Transportation, which makes locomotives, it was like a black box. They were having trouble figuring it out. And we found inconsistencies in numbers that we couldn't get WabTech to answer as it related to General Electric Transportation. So there's so much there yep. that, you know, he's on to, we all know he's on to something. You don't know what it is. It's a great one to follow. It's All a right. black box. It's not going to end up well, in my opinion.